Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Prep for the Neo Draft League. This week we are prepping for the Lake City Lifeguards, aka Brawler. Uh, as y'all can see, his team is right here. Actually, I'll leave that. That's fine. He has a very fast and powerful sand team. And last week he ran rain. I don't know why, but he does have a sand team with an option for rain. With contrary superior and lots of powerful mons. So let's go ahead and see what we can't do against them. I remember I looked over on this just a bit. He doesn't have any major weaknesses besides like electric, but he has two ground types. Uh, fire, he has a bit of an issue with. Only three resists. And water is kind of an issue as well. <clears throat> but my water type is not offensive. My fire type is kind of. So I think we'll lead off with the uh, fire type. We'll slap Arcanine on here. He does have an option for Trick Room with Galarian Slow King, but his team's really quick too, so. I don't think he'll be running that. <laughs> Keep Intimidate for the Draco Bish. And we'll come back for the Moose Set later. I don't think Mystical Fire Miss Magius. Uh, Moltres and Mystical Fire Galarian Sloking are really that big of threats. He also has plenty of hazard removal as well. So I can't just send that in randomly and just go for it. So I think this is just going to be a pressure heavy team. <laughs> Fairy he has some answers for, but he still has three weaknesses. Psychic he has zero weaknesses, two immunities, and a two resist. But I think Meg Garvor would kind of fit in here. do that as well. His fastest mon is Weavile, which I have no answers to outspeed it with. But his second fastest is Superior, which my Raikou does outspeed. <laughs> Could also be Scarf or Sandstream Draco Bish as well. Which, just because I'm worried about speed control here. I actually have a use for Overcoat now. I want webs, that's for sure. That way, if he runs Trick Room, yeah, it might be an issue, but I could keep his Dracovish from getting out of control here. Slow down Cabalion. And yeah, I'd have to watch us for Superior, but Leaf Andy kind of comes in on it. Especially in a league with no uh, hidden power. Says Dragon Pulse, Grass Moves. And that's basically just it. It's got some normal in there. So 
So Levani just checks superior. Especially if I just run specially defensive as well. Or even just max HP, really. <laughs> so that plus one speed they can get less concerning. Morning Sun's so gonna get screwed over here, but player for Dracovish. So, play rough hits Dracovish, Tyranitar. Flare Blitz would hit Mega Scizor. Play rough hits Weavile. Flare Blitz hits Cobalion. Flare Blitz hits Superior and Alolan Ductrio. Then I just need a last move. I think we'll just bring extreme speed. <laughs> this could come back to bite me, but I think I'll keep running you physically defensive. back for that later. So you should be able to handle Mega Scizor real easily here. I know he said bishops are would be a really good answer for Weavile, but I don't think it is no more. I think Arcanine will do that answer just fine. I think Ghost can come in here fairly easily. And I only have one Ghost type, so. Worst comes to worst, we have an answer. That's not going to work your stands up. 
We'll just play Risk. Less worried about doing damage here. Okay, we got double willows for his physical threats. I got intimidate. Nido can take on a Lil and Dougie. I could kill it on prediction. Even Ice Beam has a chance to kill here. With Modest. And with minus one, I do outspeed this thing, even if it's Jolly. So, with what's if I could kill a one Duck Trio? Hand slash is straight up dead. Break of ish. How much do you take? You take a dent. Tyranitar, what do you do? Take 50. Okay, I'm real curious about this right now. Modest, Sheer Force, Life Orb, Focus Blast against Tyranitar and Sands with this set has a chance to die. Sludge Wave. Three immunities, four resists, only two weaknesses. I don't think it's necessary. I think we'll just put Sludge Wave on here. It's a good stab move. It's stronger than Earth Power too. And 
anything that wants to come in on a sludge wave doesn't want to take an earth power, so. I want that chance to kill T-Tar with max special defense. Special defensive Kakuga is physically defensive Arcanine. Vastlevani with webs. I mean, not really much answers come for Psychic, so. And if Scizor wants to switch in, we'll slide Mystical Fire on here. Be like a Wicked Miss Magius, Moltres, Galarian Slow King, Togekiss, all of them could get weakened. If Scizor switches on a Psychic or Fairy move, it dies. Thunderbolt hits Moltres as well. And Togekiss too, so Togekiss can't come in freely. Hyper Voice hits Draco Vish Titar. Psychic's neutral on Galarian Sloking, anyways. Weavile gets hurt by Hyper Voice. Honestly, I don't know if Hyper Voice or Mystical Fire would be best for Cabalion, but it's one of the two. Sandslush is dead. Superior, I'm always Hyper Voicing because Mystical Fire will give that thing a special tech boost. And we don't want to give that thing any more stat boost than what it's already going to get. Because we're kind of heavily leaning on Levani right now for that. Okay, it doesn't have access to that though. I have hit access to that. Oh, why do you keep giving it a hidden power? It's definitely boosting the damage, so if they hit me twice. Levani still lives that. Three times Levani dies. It's like a switch in, take another, and then do 90%. I can't kill it. Though, if Sand's up, Superior does die. Unless it's leftovers. I'm also doing this with a life orb. We changed that. I have a fairly small chance to take that, but. Tim and I have a 50% chance, basically, to survive. And that's more than enough time to kill it. Leaf Blade for T-Tar, Sandslash, and I guess a little Inductrio, and then Knock Off just to remove some items. That would have been an issue. So we got a Pokemon that's like a last second savior. Good damage, good damage. Webs and assistance. And then a physical wall here. 
But if he brings any type of hazards, I'm kind of screwed here, so I need something. And actually, Cryogonal would be great here. So close. Well, no, no, no. Actually, that is the plus one. Wait a second. It's so close. If he's adamant sand rush, I can outspeed. Right here. That's with scarf. I don't want to take hazards, so we'll rely on a rapid spin to get me there. Because freeze dry will just kill that Dracovish. can go into special attack timid if I ever get plus one I will immediately outspeed adamant sand rush but what do I need to kill zero okay you have max HP Twenty-eight against max HP, max attack has a chance to survive, but it will do at least decent damage to Togekiss as well. Actually, this whole sand rush thing that I'm over here looking at. Doesn't change much. I still need to be plus one with the sand rush. Minus one double from sand. Three sixty four. I think you hit three twenty eight. I don't think you'll have speed. Yeah, three twenty eight. So Sand Rush is an issue. But this does give us another tug kiss answer. Helps us with superior bit and Miss Magius. Gives us levitate for Sand Slash, Duck Trio. Uh, I'd probably help with Slow King as well. We do have three rock weaknesses for Tyrant to take advantage of. But we also have Nidoking, King, which is this. Coffer use is just bulky as all hell. We got two will o mons, one being the Kafarius, and Gardevoir can come in and deal damage. I don't think Ho a Moltres over there is going to be an issue. Weavile 
is super effective on Koth and Wolfani. Cryogonal beats it. Well, can take a hit. Arcanine beats it. Gardevoir can kill it, but it will take a whole bunch of damage in return. If I don't get these screens up. I know I won't have light play for this, but they'll still be around for at least four turns. Which could help me out later. Especially if I get like a reflect up, I can switch around to Gardevoir more often because the defense will be helped. Or I could go to Cough Grigus and then Willow is something that's a problem, then it's no longer an issue. And if it is an issue with the crit or something, then that's just fate, but we'll figure that one out later. But I think this team should be good enough. Rapid spin, removes hazards, free strike beats Dracovish. Beats Dracovish, Tug and Kiss, Sandslash, Superior, Nido King, Handles. Tyranitar Tug Kiss. It won't beat Mega Scizor, but it could damage it. Won't beat it though. I uh, can dent Galarian Slow King. Can decently handle Moltres. Dice to Weavile. Cobalion it could be. Sandslash it takes. Superior it takes. Alone Ductrio it takes. Coffee will just handle physical or special attackers with this spread. It should be fine. I don't think I'm really worried about it. And I have that Destiny Ball and Custab as a last resort. We got webs, knock off support, overcoat so I can't get hurt by sand. So that's not an issue. It's only hazards that will break the sash or damage. Prediction based Gardevoir basically here. Because if they predict, well, if he predicts wrong, it's an issue for him. If he predicts correctly, it's an issue for me. And then we just got bulky Arcanine. I think this team up will be good, so I'll see y'all guys. Alright, guys, welcome back. We're about to face off with Brawler right now. Let me verify this is the correct team. Yes, it is. Alright, let's send it. He brought sand with no T-Tar. Interesting. I mean, without a Draco fish. He brought superior too, so I'm not setting up webs. Webs are an awful idea here. What would his lead be? Probably Tarantar, right? Low King. Do I kill Slow King here? It's a two hit. Assuming their assault does, it's a two hit. I think we'll switch guard. Yeah, that's fine.
think I just psychic here. You get good damage. That is not good damage. And that killed. God damn it. I did how much? 32? That would at least assume that they're not assault vests, but they have special defense investment. Sludge wave psychic. That's regenerator, obviously. Yeah. Titar. The kits in the Nidal King here take the hit and then go for Earth Power and kill it. But they may predict that I go for a grind move. I am Sash. Oh, nope, doesn't matter. Should have just switched to Nidoking. King. I should take one. God damn it. All I had to do was hit one there. Please, can I hit? Fucking hell, finally. Doesn't matter now, though. This is just not gonna go well. I think that throw at Gardevoir kinda fucked me here. I was also expecting the Psychic, cause I think uh, Nido King took that. Barely, but now it doesn't. Yeah, we hardened it out there. Why is he just running full paralysis on everything? Thankfully, I, I just don't fucking kill. God damn it.
might as well just go for like kills and try and pick something up here. Dude, god damn. Para here probably, just fuck me over more. Why the hell did he just sack Doug Trio there like that? I guess to keep Galarian Slow King alive, because with the regenerator, it'll take another Earth Power. Titar should be faster as well, unless they're like mid speed. Yeah. <laughs> that was not a good game, man. Well, I'll see y'all guys next time, because that battle was not very long. It was an 8 minute fight for a 30 minute part. This would probably be the shortest battle all week. Had I just played better with Gardevoir, or even just swapped the Levani out, I would have been fine there. And it would have saved all the issues that I just suffered. Quag did not help here though. I don't think Quag helped at all. But I'll see y'all guys next week.